September the 16th. Anyone, anyone can get lucky. Not everyone can persevere. Success comes to the lowly and to the poorly talented. But the special characteristic of a great person is to triumph over the disasters and panics of human life. Seneca and Providence 4.1. Anyone can get lucky, not everyone can persevere. Success comes to the lowly and to the poorly talented, but the special characteristic of a great person is to triumph over the disasters and panics of human life. Perhaps you have known people who've been extraordinarily lucky in life. Maybe they hit the genetic lottery on or have skated through classes and careers with no with ease, despite never played, despite never planning, making reckless decisions, jumping from one thing to the next. They've somehow survived without a scratch. There's a saying, God favours fools. It's natural to be a bit envious of these folks. We want the easy life too. Ah, oh, we think. But is the easy life really that admirable? Anyone can get lucky. There's no skill in being oblivious and no one would consider that greatness. On the other hand, the person who perseveres through difficulties, who keeps going when others quit, who make it to their destination through hard work and honesty, that's admirable because their survival was the result of fortitude and resilience, not birthright or circumstance. A person who, who overcame not just the external obstacles to success, but mastered themselves and their emotions among the way. That's much more impressive. The person who has been dealt a hard hand understood it, but still triumphed. That's greatness. Anyone can get lucky, not everyone can persevere. Perseverance versus luck. It's true, anyone can get lucky. Is that impressive? Is it impressive to get lucky? Or is it more impressive to get lucky? Or is it more impressive to persevere through challenges, adversity, situation, conditions, and still go and never quit and work hard and on it? Stay honest, humble, integrity, integral, compassionate, loving, forgiving, kind through all the struggles, perceived struggles, and challenges and obstacles, and disasters and trauma, and triumph over it. There's more lessons in that than just yeah, the genetic the genetic lottery.
other people who've dealt the hand, then that's great for them. You know, we we, don't, we we can be grateful. It's not like, oh, I'm going to give all this away so I can, it's just uh, so I can learn resilience. It's, yeah, it's being indifferent to that, what you have. You can challenge yourself being indifferent to that and give. Give your fortune away. And use it, use it, use it as resources to bring service. So, yeah. Anyone can get lucky, not everyone can persevere. What? What try? What disasters or circumstance conditions can you overcome today? Or think about overcoming. And see the fortitude, the fortitude that's within us. The joy, the joy in coming through it. And people will want to be around. People want to be more around people who have come through poverty, imprisonment, wars, I don't know, sickness, homelessness. People who've come through that and see and still never gave up. Stay honest. That's who I want to be around. That's who I want to hear about. That's who both people want to hear about, right? So, yeah, but we're not aiming. We're not aiming for struggle, but we're we're ready for it. We're ready. Like if it comes, it's a challenge. It's a challenge that we've been waiting for. Enjoy the day, my friend.